saying that it's 10 million too many. I'm joined by David Curtin, who's the leader of the Heritage Party. Um, David, why are you here today? Yeah, I think for the same reason as you, because 10 million unborn children have been killed in this country since the Abortion Act, and that's a horror. I mean, I don't think people realize it's that many. People think it's just a few thousand, but actually 225,000 plus unborn children are killed every year in this country. That's too many, 10 million since it's been um, implemented. And last week we had the Public Order Act go through, which is now impinging on free speech outside abortion centres and even criminalises prayer for unborn children or people offering to give help to pregnant mothers who could be able to do something and to save their children and not have them um, terminated in the abortion centres. So, you know, the Heritage Party is pro-life, we're against this, we want to repeal the Abortion Act, we want to repeal Section 9 of the Northern Ireland Act as well, which makes it legal in Northern Ireland and stop this horror from happening anymore in our country. Thank you. And is there anything in particular that the Heritage Party is doing at the moment or ways that we can support? Well, what we're trying to do is get more members and get more candidates to stand in local elections and to stand in the national election in Parliament behind me whenever there's a next general election. Because, you know, they voted this through last week, this um, restriction on free speech. So it's going in the wrong direction. And the parties that are in there at the moment are just, you know, they're not going to do anything about it. They're on the opposite side. So we need a complete change in Parliament to actually be able to get to a place where we can save the lives of unborn children. So if you can support the Heritage Party, please do. Uh, you can find looks up online. <laughs> Great, thank you. And is there anything that gives you a sort of a message of hope or keeps you going in this work? Well, I know that more people are joining and, you know, I know there's like a, a huge groundswell of opinion against what's going on, against, you know, everything that's bad that's coming upon our country, you know, not just this, but many, many other things. There's so many people who are fed up of the four parties there that are doing this and people want to change you know wherever I go I hear people and I listen to people and talk to people they want to change so I'm really hopeful if the millions and millions of people who at the moment are just around but haven't got anything to connect to can connect and come together we can actually make a huge movement to change this and to set things right in our country I love that. Thank you very much, David. You're welcome. Thank you for those joining us here today. Stay tuned as I speak to more people and the work that they're doing in the pro-life movement.